So I've been waiting for my Mavic Mini 2 outside. And he must be making his rounds. Maybe I'll go chase him down. I had my coffee, <laughs> so I'm super wired. Let's go see. Let's go bug him. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Hunting the FedEx guy down for your Mac Mini and drones. Is there a way you have something for 1155 that I sign? 1155? Yeah, can you check? Uh, what apartment? E? E? I left it over there. Oh, you left it? Yes. I, it didn't require a signature, though. Oh, okay. All right, shoot. I'm just doing something for a video. Don't, okay, you, you don't mind I'm recording? Right. Okay. okay. Let's see if he left it. Kick the door open. Oh, this is where he left it. No bueno. You're not supposed to leave a $700 drone right by the door like that. Come on, meow meow. Let's go, Kitty Simon. We got a Mavic Mini 2 to look at. Come on, go, go, go. Go, go, Simon, go. All right, guys, so FedEx has delivered my box and I ordered this so you guys are aware. I'm a little late to the game, so to speak, but I did my best because I ordered it essentially right when the clock turned eight o'clock here, I believe it was, or seven. I think, no, it was seven o'clock. It was right after Wheel of Fortune. That was my reminder. I ordered it probably 20 seconds after, as I said, and I got it three days later. So I got it Saturday morning which was not bad. I'm a DJI Select member, so I wanted to see. They supposedly said they were gonna prioritize the orders for the Select members. Who knows? I don't know, are you guys a Select member? I have no idea. It does kinda of help out a little bit. It gives you some coupons for accessories such as batteries, so that's kind of a nice little incentive. It also gives you half off refresh, only basically one coupon, I believe, for that. And what else is there that's kinda of nice? Um, Really, that's about it. I mean, it's $50. It really isn't that big of an investment. But at the same time, you know, the coupons for the actual accessories are nice because if you buy a battery, you know, say it's a Mavic 2 Pro battery, you get it for like $110 or something. I think it's 20% off. But regardless, we have the Mavic Mini 2 here in the box. I got the Flymore combo. I have a Mavic Mini 1. Ooh in this case right here, and we'll take a look at that in a second as well for the comparison. Now, mind you, I didn't really watch any other YouTube tutorials other than the one that was kind of on the Best Buy thing way before, so I kind of got wind of everything that was included, like OcuSync 2 and 4K 30 frame per second and some stuff like that, but at the same time, this is my first real unboxing. I'm sure someone else did it. Obviously, I know they did, but I wanted to just give you an insight on my take initially with my thoughts. Now, mind you, I have a Mavic Air 2, so I do have that controller, so keep that in mind. It's gonna be somewhat similar as far as the feel, I'm sure, once I see this thing and the same controller. But let's get going. We got the unboxing, we have the knife, we go and uns get rid of this stuff, and we see what we have. So, move this cup. So this is what's in the box. A little DJI Mini 2 Flymore combo. And one of the things, so you guys are aware, let's pull this out. Okay, there we go. Throw the box aside. So now we have the DJI Mini 2 Flymore combo. And keep in mind, this thing almost was $700 with two years of refresh. And I actually had some DJI credit, like $30. So it would have been basically $700 with two years of refresh, which I'd highly recommend. Because if you do have this, most likely that means you're a beginner pilot. Not necessarily true, but at the same time, this is a beginner drone per se. So get the refresh for peace of mind in case you do crash, you get two replacements and it gives you that extra peace of mind when flying. You know you basically can crash and not be completely out of pocket $700. So with that being said too, this Mavic Mini 1 
was $500 for the Fly More combo. So that was a way bigger incentive, in my opinion, than $700. $700 obviously getting closer to the Mavic Air 2 at $800 for just the drone, not the Fly More combo, but still, it's a much better drone than this guy. But for me, the reason I bought the Mini 2 is because I fly a Mavic 2 Pro, a Mavic 2 Zoom, Phantom 4 on occasion, and also, uh, what else is there? So Mavic Air 2, Mavic 2 Pro, blah, blah, blah. And when I fly my Mavic Mini indoors for say real estate or just trying to get some tight shots somewhere where I just don't wanna jeopardize a bigger drone getting in between a little tight space, I rather fly my Mavic Mini, and now the problem is I don't have 4K content on my current Mavic Mini 1 because it only goes up to 2.7K, so I can't match the footage, and I gotta up it or do something, and I kinda have to be more selective to bring in, you know, I don't wanna have to up everything out of a Mavic Mini, so I'll try to get a couple shots with the Mini to bring in, I'll up the 4K, and I could do a video on that as well. It's really pretty good, some of the software I use to do that. It's actually pretty remarkable, but regardless, that's the big reason I got this, so I can match my 4K content with the other drones that I have currently. So we're gonna go ahead and open this guy. Let me see where it is. I'm kind of meticulous when I open these guys, to be honest with you. So I got like a pretty razor sharp knife because I feel when you're going ahead and taking the time to open something carefully, and you don't just gnarl the box up. When it comes time to selling this thing, you actually have the box intact for the next owner. They're really appreciative that you took the time to not totally, you know, mangle the box up and it's actually looking kind of brand new still. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the same over here. And I'll actually keep the plastic wrap on, not that this is crucial, but for me, as I said, as a kind of compulsive guy, I am selling my Mavic Mini 1. So anyone who's interested, that will be available soon after I kind of do my comparison shooting for the videos. So we got that, we got this, we open it up, and we have essentially, I'm gonna pull this out because I'm not gonna use this case. And we'll pull this back up so it looks all right. And now we have this little case the tag on it, keep it on because I'm not gonna use this bag. So again, when I sell it, it will be all pristine for the next buyer if that actually ever happens. I'm gonna hopefully keep this drone because it will be a essential little easy drone to use. Whoop, here we go, wrong side. You only get one shot at this unboxing thing. So we have right here, as you see, we have the Mavic Mini 2 drone. The thing that stands out are the orange little tips on the propellers. We have the new controller, which is the same as the Mavic Air 2, so this is no surprise. I know that this one has green LEDs as opposed to white. And then we have the accessory kit. We do not have um, the prop guards for this guy. So we have basically this with the little prop holder, which whatever, no big deal. We have the new controller. We have probably instructions or whatever the literature they give you. And then we got the accessories, which will be basically the charger, the hub. So here's the hub, boom, charger. Don't need, I already have one down there for the other drone. We got the cable, so USB-C to USB-C. Uh, I probably will need the USB-C to lightning, which will probably be already in there. So USB-C to micro usb and then we have another cable for the charger. So I'll leave this stuff in here for the moment because I will not be touching it. But that's what is in the accessory kit. Again, no prop guards. The prop guards do not come with this, even at almost $700. So again, keep that in mind. If you are considering the Mavic Mini 2 is that much more of an investment, and you may wanna just start off with the Mini 1. Knowing that it's $500, you get a decent amount for your value. Like I'm selling my Flymore combo for $400. So if you are a Mavic Mini 1 owner already, obviously the Mavic Mini 2 will be something you'll know you'll want essentially. But that's it in the case. There's probably something in the pockets like props. So there are, there's some props in here. So we got extra props. We have extra little controller sticks for the controller. We have a little screwdriver when it comes time to removing the props. 
And basically that's it. So props, remote controller sticks, an extra pair, and the screwdriver to remove them. So this guy is done over here, boom. And we can essentially get to the controller, which, you know what? I mean, I'll open it because I'm gonna take a look at it for this video, but I'm not even gonna use this one. I'm gonna use the one that I've been flying for my Mavic Air 2 and just keep this one as a spare essentially. So I'll open it up for the sake of the video and the unboxing purposes. So this is kind of killing me my OCD <laughs> because essentially I'd like to keep this thing perfect. But you see, same controller. I'm gonna open the one actually right now. I have my Mavic Air 2 right here. And as you see, same controller exactly minus a couple little things. There's actually, if you see, you can't really see with the video, but there's a little red pause button right over here. So that's a little different. Um, and everything else looks pretty much identical minus I know the LEDs are white on this guy, on the Mavic Air 2 and on the Mavic Mini 2, they're green. So there's that. But that's actually a really nice thing. So for people who are Mavic Air 2 owners already and familiar with this remote and flying with the remote, to me, the Mini 2, I mean, the more you can keep the similarity between your drones the same, the better, because you're going to be able to fly with one remote and be accustomed to flying with that remote, obviously, and be better with it, as opposed to going back to now we have so many drones and so many similarities, but different. So we have the Mavic Mini 1 controller with this guy, which I never really enjoyed. It was always kind of fumbly putting your iPhone in there and then having the cord. Not a big deal. I mean, that's not horrible. But at the same time, this is a better controller to me and a better user experience. So there's that. So again, if you're a Mavic Air 2 owner, that's an incentive to maybe go to a Mavic Mini 2, in my opinion. And again, the ability to match the 4K content to me is reason enough that it's an investment for my work. I do shoot jobs, uh, do this commercially. I did get my 107 with Pilot Institute, Greg over there. So if you guys do not have your 107, honestly, the 107 and getting that has been the biggest positive improvement in my drone journey. And I just really am grateful for Greg for actually helping me get it with relative ease. I did it through the pandemic. So I got it relatively recently back in July and it just opened up a ton of doors. I mean, I'm able to do bigger jobs, do commercial shoots and make more money. And you do make more money if you can market yourself the correct way. So here's Simon the Kitty. We're gonna leave him alone for the moment. But here I have my little makeshift mini one. And you can see they essentially are the same drone. Obviously we got the orange tips on this guy. We got a little here, I'm gonna keep one at a time down. So we have this guy right here to undo. So this guy will just kind of unclip, nice little snapping sound, and then it exposes the Mini 2. And now we take this off. And again, what I this is the way you should keep your, because they had motor errors and stuff, and they were supposedly on the Mini 1, and they were supposedly due to the way you were storing and compressing the props. So with this, keep them like that. Even when I package my Mini 1, I always keep the props literally parallel like this or whatever you'd want to say. And then on the bottom, I do the exact same. So don't just like keep them like this, keep them parallel to each other. And this is the way that I think you'll have the least amount of pressure on them. And it actually did help with, I never got the motor error thing again when I started storing them the correct way like this. So just be conscious of that. So we have basically the little tape on here. So we remove this, it's going over the gimbal cover. I try not to leave sticky residue because that, again, is annoying. Boom, so put that aside. We have one on the back, and we have one on the props. So I'm gonna remove the one on the props gently. There we go, so we got that, the props are freed up. We have one on the back battery cover. We're gonna pull up this yellow tab. I don't have nails, I just cut them. Um, Come on, let me see. I know, Simon, it's not easy. 
Yeah, these unboxings actually feel like you got a lot of pressure because you got one chance at it. But, and honestly, I like kind of unboxing. <laughs> it's a personal thing almost, so to actually go and do this and kind of set up everything and get cameras on, it almost takes away from it a little bit, but I hopefully will help others see and maybe help them decide whether or not they want to invest because money is, you know, tight right now with the COVID thing. So, you know, be conscious of that too. There's no need to have your gas, your, you know, gear equipment thing. You don't, if you don't need it, then don't buy it. But if you do need 4K content in your life and your workflow, then it makes sense. You can sell your Mavic Mini 1, even if you sell it for three, 400 bucks, use that to apply to this and you do a kind of easy upgrade. So right now we can see the battery compartment. We got a USB-C, we got a micro SD card slot. So now again, we're sticking with the USB-C, everything consistent, USB-C over here, USB-C on the bottom of the controller. We have the new batteries. They do look that much different as far as the coloring. So this is the Mavic Mini 2. And let me get one of the Mavic Mini 1s. So you see black, just that much different. You can read the specs on exactly what different. I think this one has a little more power and lower amperage or I don't know. I don't know the specs. Other people have talked about the battery specs, but again, you get a little bit more time as far as flying with this guy. I believe, yeah, I do believe you do get a little bit more, but I think you get a little bit more power. So maybe whatever, you can go and see again, the different specs, but physically, I'm a visual guy, gray, a little different as far as the way they look and feel. This is a little bit more square, this is a little bit rounder, but apparently they do work, the Mavic Mini 1 batteries in the two, and that's it. So we're gonna go and put this guy back in. And when I charge it for the first time, I'm gonna charge probably through the drone itself because I kind of got paranoid with charging through the hub for the first time with the whole Mavic Air 2 experience. That was just such a crap thing with it going into hibernation the wrong way and blah, blah, blah. So here we got that. We can remove these little stickers. A pet peeve of mine is when people don't remove these guys and they fly with them all the time. I don't know. I know it's not a big deal to some, but for me it is. It's kind of like keeping that sticker on your camera the entire time you've used it. So we're gonna remove this. This basically just, what does it even say? Unfold the rear arms, blah, blah, blah. So it's telling you how to remove the arms in what direction, this is out and this is down. And then we're gonna basically take this. This is the step to unfold it the correct way. So take these guys first and then take these guys and swing them down and there we go. And the cool thing about these drones is they have a little give to the props. So they're not super rigid like the bigger drones. And if you do brush up against something, say you're flying and you clip a box or clip a wall, it actually will kind of flex a little and be more forgiving and not crash usually. So again, we're gonna take the gimbal cover off and we have essentially the little 4K that's on the front of the lens. We're gonna take this little piece of sticky stick off. Boom, there's all kinds of little hidden things sometimes you find later on, you're like, you didn't even realize it was there. And is there any more? That should do it. But pretty much the same drone, as far as look and feel, minus the little 4K on the actual camera, the little orange tips on the props, and again, someone was mentioning that on the props on this guy, they have a little different indication, so you know which props are which by the little gray lines. And on this drone, the new Mavic Mini 2, they have this orange on the tip, but they're all the exact same. So I don't know why DJI did that. They could have made it a little bit different, so we would have known which props were which for which for which, watch, watch, watch. <laughs> so we would know which props are which for what props. Does that sound right? I don't know, anyway. Regardless, so that's that. So, I mean, I'm not gonna get too into this. This is more of an unboxing. I'm really excited to just charge this thing and actually go get some footage and test it at altitude and hopefully do some stuff because, again, this was the Mavic Mini 1 
Wi-Fi only. So the Wi-Fi transmission was very limiting, uh, never gave me good peace of mind like flying my Mavic Air 2 or Mavic 2 Pros or the bigger drones because it just didn't have that that connectivity. I mean, I always felt like I was losing signal and now with the OcuSync 2 with the Mavic Mini 2, I'm gonna try to see what I can do taking it in Chicago and flying at a thousand feet and seeing if that confidence with this drone is there as someone who does fly, you know, again, a little bit more aggressively with certain situations because of the 107 and getting certain shots in the city because I do some real estate stuff as well. So I do need to fly higher up and again, legally with the 107. But with that being said, what else is there? I guess some of the things that I'd wanna talk about, again, is if you're thinking about buying, the main reason to upgrade to the Mavic Mini 2 is gonna be, hands down, the transmission with the OcuSync 2 and the 4K footage. I mean, the controller, whatever, that's, you know, apples and oranges kind of thing. That's a personal preference. It's not a deal breaker. But the transmission is huge because it basically allows you to feel comfortable and confident flying this thing at any kind of range. And the 4K, again, is something that I always wanted to have out of the Mavic Mini, but I never did, so I was always stuck up it in post. And it just never really was something that I wanted to grab for a more professional workflow. Now I can actually do that with this, even though it's not going to be my, you know, main drone for flying bigger jobs because it's just not that drone. But it can be good for B footage and matching that 4K footage, as I said. I got my Rode Wireless Go on. Actually, what I want to do too is a nice little gesture. This is the Rode Varsity jacket. They're kind of rare and not easy to get. And they're pretty cool, actually. I can show you quickly. If you don't think it's kind of cool or something to rock out, but they're actually really comfortable. And I got a couple of these that I can give away to someone. So let me know if you guys do use Rode or you would rock something like this. I hate having stuff just sit that I'm not going to utilize, but let me know and I can give that to someone. Um, and... Again, here, I'll show you the hub too. So let me talk about the hub and just show you. And if you are getting the Fly More combo, as I said, so here we got two more batteries in the hub, including the one in the Mavic Mini 2. So we got three batteries total with the Fly More combo. I would personally charge each one individually through the drone first, just because I just had, as I said, that bad hub experience with the Mavic Air 2. And I'm sure you guys had a not so pleasant experience too, because I know people have chimed in on my previous videos. But again, I just want to give you a little glimpse. My whole thing is going to be getting footage with the Mavic Mini 2 and kind of doing more comparison stuff. So if this helps out, please subscribe. I appreciate you guys. I got a thousand subscribers plus now, and that is pretty cool. So I do appreciate the love and support. Aloha. And again, hit that like button, hit the notification bell. I'm going to try to be more consistent with this stuff. It is challenging at times, but I'm going to try to come up with a certain day that I'm going to release videos at least once a week. And that's it for now. So thanks guys. Peace.